This morning, Britain's Prince Andrew is once again attempting to distance himself from his one-time friend, Jeffrey Epstein. The Duke of York saying he's appalled by the recent reports of Epstein's alleged crimes. In a new statement, Buckingham Palace adding, His Royal Highness deplores the exploitation of any human being and the suggestion he would condone, participate in, or encourage any such behavior is abhorrent. After weeks of silence on the scandal, the new statement comes on the same day the Daily Mail published new images allegedly showing Prince Andrew at Epstein's New York home, reportedly recorded around the same time the pair was photographed together in the city in 2010. NBC News has not authenticated the video, and the palace did not specifically comment on the video. Prince Andrew has previously faced accusations related to Epstein's alleged sex trafficking ring. In a 2015 defamation lawsuit, Virginia Roberts Jufri, pictured here with Prince Andrew, claims Epstein forced her to have sex with the royal on three separate occasions when she was 17. Before you know it, I'm being lent out to politicians and to academics and to people that you, royalty. Prince Andrew has denied those allegations and the lawsuit was settled out of court. Meanwhile, Jeffrey Epstein's attorneys say they're not satisfied with the medical examiner's ruling that he died from suicide by hanging at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in New York City, mounting questions as the New York Times revealed new details about Epstein's final days after interviewing law enforcement, lawyers, and Bureau of Prisons staff. He would spend um, almost every day uh, with his lawyers, um, usually it would be 12 hours. And then he was, uh, outside of that, trying to uh, put money in other inmates' commissary so that he could, we were told, so that he could try and buy protection. NBC News has not independently confirmed those assertions of a stark contrast to the gilded life Epstein once knew. NBC News has also learned, according to a Justice Department official, that some of the employees at the correctional facility where Epstein died have not submitted to interviews by the FBI and the Justice Department's inspector general, and that some of them have even lawyered up.